What is going on, electrician business owners? Pat Kiros here from Electrician Marketing Co., a digital marketing agency that exclusively works with electrical contractors. Today, I'm going to be covering over some important aspects of website design for electricians. Um, I'm going to be covering some of the major uh, keys that are very important whenever you're talking about website design that's going to allow you to not only have a good looking website, but also turn it into a lead generation machine. So let's get right into it, guys. So here we have GB Electric. This is a client that I have over in uh, Pennsylvania. Um, so let's get right into it, guys. Um, so the first tip that I have is you want to have your call to actions very visible on your website. What does that mean? You want to have your phone number and you want to have a call to action like contact us, get a free quote, get a free inspection, uh, book now. You want to provide a call to action to someone that lands on your website so they know exactly what to do when they're when they're on your website. So you can see, so you can see as soon as someone lands on uh, GB Electric's website, they pretty much are are given two options right away right off the bat they can e either give you a call so we have our phone number here and we have our phone number up here or they can uh, contact us through the website through a form submission so if they click this button or this button up here it's going to take them to the contact page where they can then leave a, a form submission as you can see right here so this is giving a visitor exactly what they need to do um, right when they land on your website. This way they don't have to um, look around. They don't have to uh, wonder how to get in touch with you. They land on your website and boom, they already know what to do. Um, and what I like to do is I like to make this the uh, menu up here. I like to make it sticky on scroll. So that just means wherever you are on the page, it basically just follows you around. That way, any, anywhere that you're on the page, you can just go up here, hit contact or call, and you, they'll be able to get in touch with our client. So that's going to be the first tip that I have for you guys. Um, the second tip is you want to have social proof. Um, social proof is very important nowadays because anybody can put a fake review on a website. So adding your Google My Business, your Yelp account, your Facebook account, adding your BBB account, all of these things are going to boost up those trust signals with a potential client, right? If a potential client sees, oh, these guys have great reviews on Google, Yelp, Facebook, they're probably a reputable company um, that I can trust and I'm going to go ahead and give them a call. Right. So reviews and social proof is very important. So I always like to include these for my clients whenever they have them and they have great reviews, um, which is why we really only like to work with companies that provide a great service because you already know that they're going to have some great reviews to back that up. And it's really just going to make our job a lot more easier. So I like to display um, kind of their different um, online review profiles. And then I also like to have their reviews here embedded um, using a review uh, widget that you can get from WordPress. Um, and it basically just imports your Google My Business reviews and it makes things very simple. And it looks great on the website, honestly. So like if a visitor lands here, um, they're looking at these real profiles, they're real people, they can even see their image their name, and they can read what they wrote. Um, so this is also going to be a huge factor to turning a prospect into a potential client, right? Next tip is you want to have a contact form on the homepage. So I, so I either like to have a contact form here in the hero section whenever someone lands on the website, or I like to have it near the bottom, um, either near the bottom of the page, or you can even add it in the footer that way it's site wide um, but for this case we just added it near the bottom of the home page reason i like to add this on the home page is because 90 percent of your traffic is going to be landing on your home page so by having a form on your home page it just makes things a lot easier that way the visitor doesn't have to go anywhere else um, to be able to leave a form submission 
and they can just do it directly from the home page. Um, now that we're in this section, the next tip would be to add your Google My Business um, and embed it on your website. And this is more for local SEO purposes. Reason being is we want to connect the dots with our website and our Google My Business profile. That way Google can start relating the two of them. Um, and not only does it look nice on the website, but it's also going to help out with your SEO. So if you click this view larger map, it's actually gonna take you um, to Google Maps and it's gonna, going to actually display your listing. So the next tip that I have for you, and this is for SEO, is you want to have individual service pages for every single service that you can provide as an electrician. So as an electrician, you do electrical repairs, you do lighting installations, you do code inspections, you do search protection, house rewiring, right? Each one of these services should be its own page because that's going to boost up your authority. The more content you have on your website about what you do and the areas that you service, the better you're going to rank um, because Google actually sees all this content on your website and they say, man, this electrician knows what he's talking about. This guy can provide all of these services. Well, we're also going to rank him for all these different services, right? So it's very important for you guys to have individual service pages um, on your website. So that's another tip for you guys in terms of your SEO. Another tip is you want to have a blog section where you can actually provide blog posts about your services. So we do this on a monthly basis for all of our clients. And basically we're writing, writing about different um, questions or topics that people have about different um, electrician services, right? Or electrical repair services, whatever the case may be, we want to have these blog posts because it's also going to boost your authority and it could also potentially drive more traffic to your website because these blog posts can actually rank for different questions that people may have. So it's also very important for you guys to be blogging and adding fresh content on a monthly basis. So we do this uh, twice a month for all of our clients. So let's go back to the home page here. And uh, last but not least, we also want to have a our work section um, so we can display our work. As an electrician, pretty much every job that you complete, you can always take a before and after for the most part, um, such as the client does here. A lot of the times he shows off the finished result um, and he just sends those to us and we're able to add them to the website. And he does the same thing with his Google My Business profile. Um, but basically, we just want to display some of the jobs that we've done. Um, just makes you look more reputable when you have um, legit images of jobs that you've done. Um, and not only that, but then you're also able to SEO optimize these images by adding keywords in there and image alt tags, which is also going to help with your SEO. So those are primarily going to be the top tips, guys. Um, a lot of the electrician websites that I see are missing a lot of these things, especially when it comes to having the right call to actions, having contact forms, and having a lot of different service pages. A lot of the times, a lot of electrician websites only have a few pages. So that's extremely important that you not only design your website well, but you also optimize it for SEO and conversion rates. So that's gonna be it for this video. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. And if you do wanna get in touch with me, uh, my email is pat at electricianmarketingco.com. I'll see you guys in the next one.